So as we've jumped back into the astro journey here, one of the really biggest pain in the ass things that you got to do is update all of your software. And typically it's pretty easy, but there's certain things that we need to work that on my system, we're not working and you're going to fall into this trap one of these days. So what I want to do is show you a couple things on Pix Insight, and then we're going to also talk about how to re-enable the CUDA graphics acceleration. If you have an RTX NVIDIA card and you want to use any of the exterminators, like you just really need to do this. I did a video about a complete installation of this. Uh, I'll put a link to it up here so you can go back and watch those instructions. Everything on there is exactly what you need to do. Uh, the files will all be updated. Uh, the TensorFlow uh, library is what we really need to talk about in this video. And it's because Pixinsight. So typically what Pixinsight does, and some people don't even know this, is you know it'll tell you down here in the corner that you have an update. So I know I have an update. I'm just going to check for updates and it's going to show you uh, that we have one. And some of these updates will not only be updates to modules and stuff that are inside of PixInsight, but they will also be updates to the core application themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the update here and just click OK. And then you exit out of PixInsight. Obviously, you're not seeing this. And it's going to relaunch PixInsight and install that update. But that is not, that's only one piece of the pie. Every once in a while, and people probably, a lot of people ignore these emails. And then maybe you'll watch a video that somebody puts out. And you'll be like, okay, for this example, why, why aren't my scripts working? Like, this is, this is bullshit. Like, why aren't they working the way that this dude's YouTube video is? And the reason that is is that every once in a while uh pix insight will send you emails that say hey we released a new build version so what that means is that you're gonna have to go to the software distribution center on pix insight and you're gonna have to log in there and you're gonna have to download the newest and latest build if you want all of the super features that they are putting in to PixInsight. So what that will do sometimes is anytime you modify something inside of the PixInsight like core application in the example of the CUDA acceleration, there is a file here, this TensorFlow file, for example, is the, fi is the file that we need in order to get our exterminators to work at like lightning speed and not at like minutes, you know, where you're sitting there just like, what the heck's going on? Cause we need to leverage our graphics card and not our CPU, no matter how powerful your CPU is for some reason, the way all this stuff works and it's coded, the GPU processing and memory is just way faster. So if you have watched my video or if I'm going to go ahead and plug uh, the Astro Imaging channel and I'll put a link to their description and a link to this video in the description down here too. And you can watch the first like 20 minutes of this video where this gentleman will actually go through um, his process on how he updated and got CUDA running, even though 99% of the people that watched mine were just as successful. There's no reason why this wouldn't be as successful either. Now, if you followed that video already and you've got your Pix Insight working, you've got CUDA working, and you're either getting ready to upgrade or you ever upgrade at all, um, you don't have to do the entire process all over again. I'm going to link the Dropbox here. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to this gentleman's Dropbox. And all you need to do is download this TensorFlow GPU Windows file. And then when you get that file in there, of course, it's going to be in your uh, downloads. 
and it's right here and then you're going to extract it and you're going to go to lib l lib whatever and what you need is this single file here this tensorflow dll and what you want to do is you're going to copy that and then you're going to go in to pixinsight so we're at program files pixinsight and then we're going to go to bin and then you probably are going to want to sort these um, by name and just scroll down to the t's and you can see right here that i have two files i've got tensorflow old so this is the version that comes with the new installation of pixinsight and then i have tensorflow.dll so this is the file that we downloaded so all you got to do is you can rename this one or delete it if you want to it really doesn't matter and you need to copy and paste in the new one so that's all you have to do if you previously have watched the video and you've got all of your stuff up and running now and it's running perfectly and maybe it's not and how do you check that well you're gonna have to you know, do this part, just paste it in there and you're going to be good. It's all you're going to need to do. And then you're going to want to bring up like, you know, a task manager or something like that. So you can see exactly what's going on inside your GPU. You used to be able to have a little drop down here and it actually said CUDA. Um, I don't know where mine went or whatever, but you're going to see a huge spike in the GPU performance. So let's get rid of all this. And now we're in Pix and Sight. And I'll just go ahead and open up um, whatever we got here. So we've got a master light here of something. I think this is like my Dark Shark I was playing with again. And we'll just go ahead and stretch that so you can see it. Bring this up. And you might even just want to run this test already. Because maybe you think that your CUDA is working. And it really isn't because you downloaded a newest version and it's broke and you just think that, well, maybe the new version of Pixel site is just slower. Um, I don't know. So let's bring all that back up. And what you're gonna wanna see is when we drag and drop one of the exterminators, usually Stark Exterminator because it's the one that takes the longest. You're gonna drag and drop it on here. And if you do not see a huge spike in GPU performance that you're gonna see right here, then you know that you need to replace that tensor file, that your CUDA acceleration that you built before is not working because the TensorFlow library has been replaced by the new installation of Pixinsight that you downloaded back in late March. So let's watch this, drop that on there, bring this back up, watch this huge GPU spike as it runs. And you're gonna see like literally how fast it is. Um, you know, see that huge spike in GPU percentage now, we're up to like 93, 94%. And you know, that took like 5, 10, 15 seconds as compared to a couple days ago when I was playing with it it was literally taking like five minutes and I'm like, something isn't quite right here. So I decided to run this test, saw that that was going on, kind of put two and two together, did a little bit of research and saw that indeed there is a new or site deleted and replaced my old TensorFlow. So I needed to drop it back in. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Installing the CUDA process it's a little bit more complicated. It's simple. You just got to follow the instructions again in the video that I'm going to link in the description and the card it was up here earlier in the video, or just go back on my channel and look, and that will get you all set up and you will be back to lightning fast speeds. Uh, the other thing on Pix and site too, is when you're downloading and updating like all your repositories and stuff like that. One thing I have noticed is that all these different scripts and stuff that have been coming out, um, they're getting kind of rearranged. Uh, for example, I'm really hip on this new SETI Astro statistical stretch. Uh, I've been playing with it a lot. It's really awesome. If you watch one of their videos though, it's actually either in utilities or toolbox. And if you might've updated your script or maybe you didn't and now you're looking all over for it and you can't find it. Well, because now he's got like his own column with his latest repository 
It's called SETI Astro. So there's just a lot of little things that are kind of going on with that. Uh, what else is going on that I, uh, Graxpert was the same thing. Graxpert's just completely weird and broken for me. I'm trying to get it to, to like point and find uh, Graxpert, like it should be looking for it, but it just cannot find it. I've deleted the application a bunch of times, reinstalled it, tried to manually point to it, and it literally just won't find it. I honestly don't know what is going on, but um, with the new Pix Insight, um, the replacement for DBE, their gradient uh, application thing that they built into here, like, pfft, I don't even need Graxpert anymore. I mean, I get it. It's free if you want to use it for the AI noise and all that stuff, and you don't have the exterminators, for sure, like, do it. For, um, I kind of like the outside application a little bit easier. It's just a little bit more visually, and I think works a little bit better than having it inside Pix Insight anyway. Just kind of the way I look at it. I get it if you don't want to bounce back and forth between uh, various programs. But there's just kind of a bunch of little quirks that I'm kind of seeing. And there's videos of people covering some of this stuff. But some of it's kind of older and outdated, and it's not. It's these simple things that like will get people kind of hung up. That even somebody like me that's been doing this for a while was kind of like tricked out, wondering why my stuff wasn't exterminating fast enough for me. And then I kind of had to like work through it and figure it out. So hopefully this will help some of you guys out. And if you never had the CUDA installation work in any way, go and do it now if you have NVIDIA card. It's free and it makes all of your exterminators a pleasure to use. I mean, instant changes literally on like noise and blur exterminator. Star exterminator still seems to take a little bit longer, but you saw that like 10, 15 seconds. That's it, guys. We will talk to you all later. Love you all. Peace.